but like we've been pointing out uh, it is uh, Akshitritya today, so there's a lot of focus on gold. So that's what we're going to focus on in our personal finance segment as well. Gajendra Kothari of Etika yes. Wealth Management joins in. Hi, Gajendra. Thanks very much for joining in. First, just a very generic question which all Indians want to know. We did have our commodity guest earlier say that uh, Indians buy gold irrespective of the time. So is it a good idea to be buying gold, this Akshitritya? Uh, hi, Ikta. Uh, if you ask me personally, I don't think uh, gold is a good investment for the longer term. Uh, just uh, to give it a live example, today itself I invested 20,000 rupees for my own daughter in an existing fund. Mm -hmm. So rather than buying investing into gold fund or a gold ETF, I thought equity is a good instrument for a longer term investment, let's say 10 to 15 years, because it can outperform gold by a good margin and it can also beat inflation in the longer term. So uh, my personal view is, uh, if you have a longer term horizon, gold is not a very good idea. However, if uh, symbolically, if you want to buy gold, then it can be, you can go ahead. Uh, rather than buying gold in the physical form, like coins or silver bars, for investment purpose, I would recommend to buy gold in the form of an ETF because that is way uh, too uh, cheap, you know, and uh, security is there and quality is there. So either you can buy through gold ETF or gold fund. That is more convenient option. Hi, Gajendra. But, you know, if you see, um, you know, what the gold price has been on Akshatritya, at least for the last, you know, two or three years, in 2012, I think the price of gold was around the 29,200. Last year, uh, you know, this auspicious day fell sometime in May. That time it was at 27,000. And today as well, it's at closer to 20, 28,750. So for the least last two or three years, the price of gold has been, you know, pretty much flat. It's not yielded investors any return. So uh, for how long do you think you know the yield on gold uh, the investment or the return on gold is going to be extremely minimal uh, see at least for the next year or so I think uh, gold may not be able to give uh, 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 decent returns in the sense uh, last year if you see the price rise which is increased by 10 to 12 percent it's on two accounts one is the rupee uh, depreciation uh, by around 10 percent and the second was customs sure. duty increase increment now we are expecting that the custom duty would come down uh, because ex imports are coming down overall, which is a good news for the country. So if import, if import duty comes down, gold prices will again take a hit. And if rupee were to appreciate from here, which is again a bad sign for uh, gold uh, price in India. So these two counters are a kind of worrying sign for the immediate future or next one year or so. Okay, let's get in a caller then as well who will ask us on something related to gold. Nandini Chandra calls in from Kolkata. Nandini? Hi. Hi. What is your query today? Yeah, I just wanted to know what, which situation will be better in the current financial market, whether taking a personal loan or borrowing against gold security. Okay. All right, Gajendra, what would you recommend to Nandini? She wants to know whether it's a better option in the current financial market to take a personal loan or borrowing against gold as security. Uh, hi, Nandini. I think borrowing uh, against gold is always any day a better option compared to a personal loan because a personal loan, loan is always uh, an unsecured loan so that the rate of interest on personal loan is always higher. Uh, it starts around 15.5% uh, to 24% depending on what your credit score is. However, if you're borrowing against gold, so gold is your collateral there and then you can get the loan at around 145 to 15.5% which is way cheaper than the, than the personal loan. So, and even there are other charges which are very high in a personal loan, like loan processing fees. If you delay in the payment, then again the expenses are very high. So, I would uh, strongly recommend to go for loan against gold rather than personal uh, loan. Okay, um, we've got another query. It's from Prasanta, who's written to us from Hyderabad, and he would like to know whether he should be investing in gold ETFs or gold fund of funds, and what's the difference between the two? Yeah, Prasanta. Uh, both basically invest into the same instrument, which is gold. The only difference is that gold ETF, if you have a DMAT account, then gold ETF is a better option because that is little cheaper compared to gold fund of fund. Uh, the difference between the two is that gold fund of fund invest into gold ETF only. So those people who have DMAT account, I would recommend them to go through gold ETF. If you do not have a DMAT account and if you want to still invest, then gold fund of fund is a better idea. 
another advantage of gold fund of fund may be that you can do monthly sip in gold if you want to so if you have 2000 or 5000 rupees if you want to invest every month in gold then gold fund of fund is a better option compared to gold etf because gold etf it's like buying a normal shares or normal gold on the exchange so you may miss on the you know discipline or you may miss on the dates so this is basically the difference Okay, Gajendra, thanks very much for joining in. So that's all the queries that we have on gold. So on this.